Hey everyone, I've been waiting months for this product. Since I first saw it, I was like, oh, I gotta get a box of that. Absolutely. <laughs> Brothers of Legend, that's right, it's a Karibo box. Uh, now, there's not just Karibos in here, obviously. You've probably already heard of it by now, but yeah, I've been looking forward to this little box for a while. And I say little because I don't know if you can tell, but that's a small box. Uh, five cards per pack, 24 packs per box, but five foil cards in every pack. Every one of them is a foil. Uh, basically, you get, uh, what is it, uh, four ultra rares and then one secret rare or the chance to get a starlight rare. Will we get starlight rare out of this thing? Uh, uh, probably not, but uh, there are some other interesting cards in here. Let me grab my, my little cutter. Oh, we're stuck with the flathead screwdriver again. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's just... eh, eh, eh. Will that do it? Nope, that's some tough plastic, man. <laughs> the Konami house looks like, no, nah, man, we're top. We're grade A plastic. You got to really rip us off. Okay, here we go. Ugh, there we are. Here we are, man. Finally, Brothers of Legend. I found out about this, I think it's September. And I was like, wow, I got to get a box of that. Because at first I saw all the Karibos and I was like, okay, yeah, we got to get the Karibo stuff. But then as more information on, on this set came out, I was like, oh, okay, so it's not just a bunch of Karibos. It's uh, some interesting reprints and a few new cards. Look at that. The fuchsia. It's so cool. I actually really like the colors. It's really nice. Pretty neat. Nice little display box. Okay, enough of that. Let's grab these. 24 packs. Again, only five cards per pack. They're all foils. So, who knows? Um, there are some kind of eh cards in here, but there's also some really, really good ones. <sighs> I haven't checked the values. Uh, I know that Starlight Dragoon card was like stupid expensive the other day. But again, the chances of us getting that, that Starlight card are, just, are virtually zero. So let's just have a little fun. Let's see what we get here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, we got ourselves an ice mirror. Summon Storm. Left hand. <laughs> Is that really? Uh, never mind. Uh, appliancer conversion and a Piri Rise map. Okay. Interesting looking. We'll put you over here. Actually, let's put all of our cards right over here. Okay, so nothing apparently amazing. Again, there's probably some ultra rares in here that I'm going to just fly right by and not even realize that they're worth a few bucks. Because, again, just like, oops, come back. Again, just like all other sets. Oh, look, there's the right hand shark. <laughs> Yay, we got the right hand shark. Phantom Knights of Ragged Gloves. Uh, Fighting Spirit. <laughs> Down Nerd Magician. And a D Force. Interesting. But uh, yeah, uh, I just the only thing I've been concentrating on were just the, the Starlight Rares, obviously. Everybody go, uh, goes for these boxes for Starlight Rares. And then, of course, the players, well, at least the collectors go for just the Starlight Rares. The, coll uh, the collectors go for all the expensive, just the players. Wow, Starlight Road. Players just want some interesting reprints. Noble Knight's Spear Holder, Kaiju Capture Mission, Eyes Show, and Winged Requital. Yeah. At least the foiling is really nice. Well, let's just start rolling through this stuff. I'm just kind of going through some of these cards really slow just to kind of see what's in here. Again, I just kind of scanned over Dr. D. <laughs> I love the hair. That's, that's, if I had hair, that's what it would be like. The Ice Bound God, Soul Binding Gate, Dollhouse, <laughs> Yowie. <laughs> that's okay. That's a weird looking thing. Yowie. Wow. <laughs> there's some, yeah, again, that's, there's some interesting stuff in this set. Uh, wait a minute. Let me take that Dollhouse real quick. Is that, are those? No. Okay. Surprisingly enough, we've not seen any Karibo stuff. I wonder if they're holding all the Karibo stuff just for uh, for secret rares. Ice Mirror, Infornate D Decatron, Penguin Sword, Numbers Protection, Number Ninety Nine Utopia Dragonar. Uh, hmm. Again, I, I don't know the values, so we're just gonna move right along. Over there. Plancer, Propellion, 
Hey, there we go, Curry Babylon. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is actually one of the cards I was looking forward to just because the art is so goofy. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, he's got like a horn. He's like a unicorn with fangs, curry bow sort of. Yeah, he's just all sorts of odd. <laughs> the Curry Babylon, that's cool. I love that thing. Shoot. Oh, it's a Dream Star Dragon. Oh, okay, not bad little reprint there. Allure of Darkness, another reprint. Hey, look at that. Perform a pal, Curry Bulbul? Curry Bulbul? Interesting, okay. Uh, that little guy looks like he might be for some money. And he's got, he, he looks like he's in the holiday spirit a little bit. I know it's red and green and gold. No, well, I guess, yeah, I guess that's holiday spirit stuff. Nice, okay. So a couple of, I was about to say, yeah, we're not getting any Karibo stuff, and then in one pack we get two Karibo cards. That's the kind of stuff I was expecting, like a Karibo card in almost every pack. But that wasn't happening. <laughs> Let's see, ZS Orbor Sage. Oh, Red Ice Fusion. That's a nice reprint. Very nice. Idia, the Heavenly Squire. Silent Sea Nettle. Wirelusk Bird Strike. Yeah. I know that some of that bird Lyralisk or Lyralesk, some of those cards are worth a little bit of money. So that might actually be a nice little hit there. We'll have to check. Uh, Idos, the Underworld Squire. Zexil Catapult. Ice Knight. Hey, Curry Bee! <laughs> yeah, more Curry Bow cards. That's cool. Okay. Yay! Stealth Kragen Spawn. I'm just happy with the Karibo cards. Everybody's like, you're not really getting much. I don't care, I'm getting Karibo cards. Yes. <laughs> and if you haven't figured out that Karibo's actually kind of neat, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Go look at my, uh... anyways. Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. And, oh wow, Beatrice Lady of the Eternal. It's not a ghost foil, but it looks almost like it. <laughs> wow, that's some insane foiling there. Hey, Cory Bourne. There you go. Again, more nice Karibo cards. <laughs> Five star Twilight. More Karibo stuff. Nice. What is this? If the only monster you control is a little five monster, tribute that monster. A special summon five monsters. One Karibo, one Karibi, one Karibo, one Karibe, and one, one Karibo. Oh, the first one was Kariba. <laughs> All these are weird names. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's going to be weird. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that art. Rebirth Judgment. Oh, my gosh, that artwork. Wow, you don't really see art like that in Yu-Gi-Oh! very often. Wow, that's cool looking. Yeah, that's uh, kind of, it looks like it's got a little Terminator vibe going there. Wow, that's nice. I wish they would put a little more art like that. A little, you know, art with a little bit of an edge to it. You know, yeah, you just don't generally see that in Yu-Gi-Oh! But there you go. The only other card that I have seen in Yu-Gi-Oh! that kind of reminded me I had like MTG vibes, like for artwork, was um, Prophecy Destroyer. I love the art on that one. The Phantom Knights of Ragged Gloves again. Lined up Arsenal Zimbimbi. Horse of the Floral Knights. Uh, Relinquished Anima. But yeah, I kind of wish that they would, wouldn't be too afraid to go a little harder on some of the art. Again, I know the game is meant for younger people, but let's face it. <laughs> Most most Yu-Gi-Oh players are at least teenagers, and most of them are adults. Exector X of Beetle, <laughs> Cipher Interference, Ice Barrier, Zexel Field, Noble Knight's Shield Bearer. Interesting. More Noble Knight supporters is that a reprint? I don't remember. Well, this is marking halfway through the box right here. We've already gone through one side of the box. Again, I'm taking my time with this just because it's fun. The Deal of Destiny, more Allure of Darkness, more Right Hand Shark, more Sujin Star Dragon, and Toy Parade. Interesting. <laughs> Some busy artwork there. Okay, second side, here we go. Pack number 13. Yeah. Still have no idea if we're doing well, but we're going to keep opening because that's what we do here. Astro Astraltopia. There we are. Kaiju Capture Mission. I Show. More Red Ice Fusion. Wow, really? Another one of these? Uh, Perform a Paul Curry Bobble? Hmm. I don't know if that's common. Common in the sense that you could get duplicate secret rares. Like, well, I mean, I guess because you get a secret rare in every pack, I guess, yeah, it makes perfect sense. <laughs> when you get a secret rare in every pack, then what could happen? Numbers protection. 
uh, Orbo, Sage, wow, more Red Ice Fusion, get a play set of that. Idia, the Heavy Squire. Oh, Dr Dragon Roid. Okay. He's interesting looking. Ooh, wow, he's a miscut. Don't know if you can tell, but that side is much thicker than that one. And what the interesting thing is that, wow, I think the print, yeah, because on the back it looks fine, but on the front it's very obviously shifted kind of this way and up a little bit. So I guess maybe the printing where they kind of slapped the back onto the front wasn't quite right. Okay, yeah, it seems a little, eh. <laughs> Somebody will still want it because the playability is still there. It's, it's fine, but if you ever try to get that card graded, it's not going to be a 10. I'll tell you that. Light Mirror, Left Hand Shark, Cypher Interference again. And Starving Venomy Dragon. He's busy looking. That artwork's kind of kind of nutty. Let's see. Hold on. Uh, that one's a little shifted, too. Not as bad, at least, well, not as obvious as the other one, but that one feels a little shifted, too. I wonder if that was a problem with this cluster of secret rares that they were printing, that they were kind of shifted a little bit. Silent Sea Nettle. Actually, let's move this over here. There we go. Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. More of the Lady of the Eternal. More Coryborn. And, oh, wow, Astral Karibo. He's crazy looking. It looks like he has an iceberg on his head. Wow, that's uh, kind of nutty. More curry bows. At least we're not just getting a bunch of curry bandits. <laughs> that would have been terrible. Resurgium XYZ, Plancer Conversion, More Starlight Road, Ice Barrier, Number 89, Diablos the Mind Hacker. Wow, he looks like he might be expensive. I don't know, though. No idea. <sighs> Getting toward the end here, man. It's been an interesting journey so far. Um, it feels like we've had a good box. I mean, it feels like it. I've enjoyed it at least. <laughs> Star Twilight Insector, Exacta Beetle, Interference Barrier. For oh, Forbidden Droplet. Isn't this one worth a few bucks? I don't remember. Yeah, I could have swore a card with the name of Droplet in it had some value. We'll have to. I'll have to check again. I think think that might be one of them. Might be one of the better hits here. But yeah, like I said, I, <laughs> before we got the droplet there, I, it just feels like a good box. Oh, Thought Ruler Arc Theme. That's kind of crazy looking. Wow. <laughs> Curry Boo. <laughs> that's, that's cute. Playset of uh, Lady of the Eternal now. And more Bird Strike. Another Bird Strike card. Oh, still no Starlight, of course. <laughs> Not uh, not guaranteed, obviously. If you've never heard of Starlights, maybe you're new to the game. Yeah, Starlights are not guaranteed in these. More? Th wow, another one. Two packs in a row. Hidden Fangs of Revenge. Number 39, Utopia. Cool. Oh, wow. That actually, that card has a tiny, I don't know if you can see it, a tiniest little ding on the corner there. It looks like it was from Cut, too. Hmm. What was it? Altergeist Pukuri. May have to say that, sell this as a light play, because... And it's, I don't know if you can even really tell here. It's right there on the corner. Very, very mild. Yeah, that's a light play. That's unfortunate. All right. Getting toward the end here. Let me see how many packs we get left. Th including this one, the four packs. All this stuff will be going on the store. So if you see anything you want, head on over there. Link is in the description. Kaiju. Sage. Wow. Look, again, this one. What is this? There's a... Wow. Can you see that? There you go. You can probably see it in that light better. It looks like somebody just drove their nail into that. That's really, really weird. And that's straight out of the pack. That's unfortunate. Ugh. Speed ride scratch. Hmm. So a little bit of a downer here at the end. Got a couple of cards that straight out of the pack are damaged. That one, I don't know how that happened. That was a little weird. All right, come on. Wind up arsenal. Ardent Chaos Force, uh, the Mystery Dust Kaiju, crazy looking, Horse of the Floral Knights, and Utopic Sage. Come on, give us something, give us something, give us a, a good card for the end here. And I, for all I know, Sage could have been a great card. No clue. That's what I get for doing these videos right, <laughs> right when I turn the computer on and I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to do the video. Fossil Dig, uh, interesting reprint, Astraltopia. 
Exabeetle. Wow, we got a whole bunch of those Exabeetles now. And Grandpa Demetto. That's some creepy artwork. That's really creepy. <laughs> Here we go. Last pack, man. Again, I'll have to check values. We'll see how we did here. But yeah, we obviously didn't go... Oh, there we go. Just a regular old Karibo. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice little reprint. I like that art. It's simple, but it looks good. Tale of Destiny, Void Feast, Detonate, and Stealth Kragen Spawn again. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Uh, again, I don't know which of this stuff was the big hits. Uh, I think the Droplet... And maybe that dragon ride, I don't know. We'll have to see. But I love the art on that. I'm just going to put that back on camera there. <laughs> right, thanks for checking out the video, guys. We will see you next time.